Hey guys, how's it going? Simple Clutch here, and I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded, and I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I know I always say I'm back, and I always leave again for a couple weeks, upload a few videos for a week, leave again, and I know it feels awful to be subscribed to me, but don't worry, things get better, and this time I am back, and I'm just gonna upload and prove it instead of saying it over and over again. So this is episode four of my top five underrated matches of 2012. There were a lot of amazing matches uh, this year, and a lot of them got the credit they deserve, but I'm just going over the ones that that you know didn't get what they deserve. And uh, right now I'm looking at John Cena against CM Punk, Night of Champions 2012. Um, this is the 2011 arena because WWE 13 did not feel like really updating it. But, you know, what can you do? Um, it is, uh, I don't know why I don't have the title on Punk here. But uh, you should be walking in. I think it's because I switched it to someone else. But it is, the real match was for the WWE Championship. And... Um, they just added the new uh, move pack in where John Cena, or not where John Cena, where they do a, a German suplex off the top rope. Um, and that's how, if I would have had the move pack at this point, I would have added in the actual finish. But he only recreates so much. So the actual ending to the match was a double pin. Although the match itself was amazing. Um, you know, CM Punk hit two go to sleeps and had the Anaconda Vice on Cena, and Cena kicked out of both. And, and normally they only have the, you know, nor you always expect someone to kick out of the first finisher, not the second. So when they both kicked out of the second, it was kind of like, this is awesome. You know, it's a really good match. And everyone said, you know, it was a good match. I think it should should have been, I mean, match of the year for me. Uh, <laughs> you'll find out the next episode, but it, it's right behind there for me. I, you know... A lot of people uh, like the matches, like uh, John Cena and Brock Lesnar and Extreme Rules. And for me, if I do make an overrated list, uh, an overrated list, I, that'll probably be on there. But um, you know, it was it was an all right, all right match, but um, it was nothing amazing. Like uh, you know, Triple H and, and Brock Lesnar is my last video for this, and and that match was a really good match. Uh, whereas Cena and Lesnar was kind of like one attitude adjustment, and it's over. You know. So for me, that match didn't really do. I'm I'm a big guy. I've gone over this again on the finishes to the match and the kick out of the finishers, and and that match um, didn't really have too many for Brock. So I really, you know, this match had so many kick out of you know CM Punk and Cena just kicking out left, right, and center, and countering the five knuckle shuffle, and you know countering the flying knee in the corner, and hitting the attitude adjustment, and go to sleep, you know countering the STF and the Anaconda Vice, and it was just an epic matchup. Um, and and to me, it it was a five star match, and the only thing it could have hurt it a little bit was the ending. But even the ending, I mean, and I don't know why the computer keeps spamming an arm hold on me here. I know. I'm really sorry about how boring that was. But I don't know. He kept doing it to me. And the ending itself was was a pretty good ending. I mean, a German suplex from the top rope. You don't see that too often. So although it was a double pin and that's a bit disappointing, I still think the match itself was amazing. And it's weird how Sheamus and Del Rio and Punk and Cena at Night of Champs um, is on this list. Because I think overall the pay-per-view was, I mean, the undercard wasn't that great, but... The, the main event matches were, were really well done, in my opinion, and I think that people did not give them the credit they deserve. Um, you know, um, and that's the thing with the WWE Universe, you know, they, and, and you know, I th I'm pretty sure, what did I put as the, the top? I'm doing underrated, yeah, overrated, oh my god, don't get me started. Uh, I'll just highlight some of them here. Uh, overrated for sure would be Triple H and Undertaker at WrestleMania. I've been over that again. That was overrated. Um, <laughs> Brock Lesnar and Cena Extreme Rules. But, you know, just on the topic of this match, it you know, their Money in the Bank match in 2011, it, it you know, that was the first time that, you know, CM Punk was truly a main eventer when he faced John Cena. And that's why that match was match of the year in a five-star match uh, from uh, a guy who does reviews and hadn't given a five-star match in 11 years, gave a five-star, you know, rating to that match. And I think that, you know, everyone thought that was a good match. Their match at SummerSlam was almost as good, but their match here was, you know, I think it was just as good as the one at Money in the Bank. You know, maybe not quite. Well, actually, I think it was better than their match at Money in the Bank, to be honest, because the ending wasn't like, oh, you know, John Laurinaitis comes out, distracts Cena, and he gets GTS. I think the ending to this match was better, and I think that this match was the best match these guys have had, and that's why I would have liked Cena and Punk to have a match in the cell, but Cena obviously had to have elbow surgery, so instead we got Ryback, and um, it just, you know, it, it it is a really good match, and it's just, it's sad that the matches like this don't, don't receive, you know, people said, oh, it was a good match, you know, but no one gives it the credit it really deserved. You can't just say, oh, it was a good match. You know, it should be match of the year, and the fact that I don't even know if it was even on the list for match of the year at the end of the year. I'm not sure. I know that Triple H, um, Undertaker, Rock, Cena was on there. 
and I can't remember the other ones, but I, I this one was probably on there. Like it was just a really good match, and um, you know the emotion, the crowd was just in it, and the crowd really does help. And when you have a dead crowd putting on a five star match, it hurts it. But the crowd was into it for this one, so you know I I don't know why people don't. I mean I'm sure some some people out there obviously think it's a great match, but a lot of people are just kind of like eh, you know whatever. But I I I don't think so. I think this was you know one of the most underrated matches. The one after this is obviously on my list is is even more overrated than this and it you know this match was very close I was I really wanted to put it number one but there's just one fact that I'm gonna get to in my next video about why it wasn't so make sure to leave a like comment and most of all subscribe for more WWE 13 content just letting him hit his five knuckle shuffle here boom there it goes so once again I'm uploading episode 5 tomorrow and I'm also putting up an ep epic finisher sequence and my Royal Rumble predictions are coming along as well and I'm sorry for those of you NHL fans, but, um, you know, I'm going to be quite bland. NHL 13 kind of sucks. That's why I haven't put too much of. Anyways, thanks for watching.